So in this video, learn how you can take this Microsoft Word document and transform it into a Microsoft Sway web page in just a few clicks. Hey, my name is Rich and this is my YouTube channel. Before we get started, what I'd like you to do is to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where each week I'll be publishing a number of different videos on a variety of different topics. And by the way, I'm getting over a cold, so no, my voice shouldn't always sound this stuffed up. Okay, so if you're a Microsoft user, one of the things that Microsoft doesn't have that Google does is a fully featured website builder. But there is a program called Sway which will allow you to kind of create a website that's a mix between a web page and a PowerPoint presentation. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. So for this assignment, I had my students write an argumentative essay, and I'm going to have them use this feature in Microsoft Word Online that will allow them to transform this document into a Sway website. To do this, after the writing is completed, you can click the File button, choose Export, and then choose Transform to Web Page. From here, you'll have the option to choose a number of different themes for your Sway web page. Now, you can always change the specifics at a later date. I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. Okay, so here we go. This is my website. You can see it has a banner at the top and all of the text is after. Now this doesn't look that much different than a Word Online document. So I'm going to use the edit feature to kind of customize this website to make it look more visual. So clicking the edit button kind of takes you behind the scenes to what your site looks like. It's also known as storyline mode. So by pushing the play button, it will show you what your site currently looks like. By clicking edit, you can go in and change some of the different parts. Now, the first thing that I want to do is just to change this banner at the top. This is an essay about internet usage, and this banner isn't anything very specific to the topic. So by clicking edit, I can click on background and I'm able to search for images directly inside Sway. So I'm just going to do a search for internet. Okay, a number of different choices come up that I can select from. You'll notice that this is selected to only search for images with the Creative Commons license, which is good. I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to add that and now let's see how it looks. There we go. So now I have an image at the top in my banner that's more specific to the topic of this essay. So I'm going to select edit again. Okay, so each Sway website is made up of a number of different elements. I believe they used to be called cards. So what I want to do is to create another card. So I'm just going to take this text. I'm just going to cut this text. I'll re-edit it in later, but this is my essay, and right now it's talking a little bit about young people using the internet. So what I want to do in our site right after this part is add a photo, maybe a photo of a young person on a laptop. So I'm just going to select the plus button, going to go to image, and I'm just going to now do a search for a young person on a laptop. This image should work. If I wanted to, I could add a caption in there as well. All right, now let me go back to play and you can now see how my website looks. Now I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to select the plus button and add the rest of the text that I recently copied. And there's a few things that I want to do in this part first. The first thing that I want to do is directly link the article that's being referenced in the body of my essay. Okay, here it is. It's just a link from the New York Times. And now that hyperlink has been added to my text. Now I also have another article right over here, which I'm going to do the same thing for. And here are those links. You can see attached to technology. This is going to take me to a New York Times website. And the second one, cognitive offloading, will take me to this website. So this next section talks about students as digital natives. So what I'd like to do is to add a video. So to do this, I'm just going to select the plus button. I'm going to choose media and I'm going to select video. Now, sometimes it does give you the option to search for a video in the same way that you can search for pictures. Sometimes I find it doesn't work. So what I did is I just went to YouTube. I found a video that I'd like to use and I copied the URL directly from that video. It shows up here and now I'm going to add that video. It's now going to show up directly after my text. Let's take a look at how the site looks now. 
Okay, there's my banner, there's my first image, and now my video is right after. Okay, so now let me go in. So now let me go in and add the rest of my text. And I want to show you a few different things that you can add to your Sway website. If I select text and I choose this option stack, this is kind of cool because this will allow you to add a number of different pictures on one topic. So I'm just going to go to images. All right, it's going to give me a number of different pictures. I'm just going to select a whole bunch of these photos that I think will really be helpful to help get across the idea of my essay. Right here, I'm going to be able to add all those pictures at once. If I'd like to, I could even add a caption for each one of these pictures. Okay, this is called a stack. You can see all of these pictures are combined inside this stack. Now, one of the things you can do is select this option that says group type, and it will give you a number of different options. So I had the automatic version, the, and the layout just kind of lists all the pictures there at once. But this is an option that I like. It's called a stack, and now when I play this, it's going to let me almost thumb through this like it's a stack of actual videos. Like it's a stack of actual photos. There's also this option as well, the slideshow, which will let me view one photo at a time. So some cool ways to display several different photos. So the last step is for me is to, sh so the last step for me now is to share this. If I just select the share button, it's going to give me some different options for me to share. I'm just going to choose anyone with a link. I'm going to copy this. So now when I send this to someone, this is what the final Sway project is going to look like. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer. So thank you again for checking out this video, and have a great day.